All right, now let's do some chest and arm blasting. I'll spray that everywhere. All right, Pro Blaster. Small claw first, prepping the tissue, getting some heat going. I love this Pro Blaster because it works so much faster than the face blaster. In case you can't tell, this top's gotten a little big for me, but you know, there's only so many tube top style tops that I own. I do go on the upper part of the chest and I'll lift and hold and just kind of scrape. A lot of tension from the back is caused by tightness in the chest. So this is an area you do not want to skip out on. You can already see the redness coming in. I get under the collarbone, do like little pulls. a little bit right here it's really good to get rid of like bra lines to blasting this area this is also I'm put some oil in my hands how I work this side area where things See that? I have some loose skin, but also to help with the bra bulge that likes to pour over. I do not go digging in the soft part of the armpit, but I do work all around it. good redness there. Mini two. I take the two claws and I just kind of hover over collarbone. There's always some tightness right in here. Margo, be quiet please. Retracing my steps here. The spot in the peck gets really tight. And as always, you can use whatever tools you've got, whatever tools you want. Black Friday sale is coming up, so if there's one that you're missing or that you really want, that'll probably be the time to buy it. I'm 
Okay, now I take the blunt end of the mini two and I just do a little, little coloring here. Gently nuggeting the top of the collarbone here. Right here on the traps, always tight, always tight. All right. What did I get on here? I don't know. This is my camera blasting shirt top thing. Just gonna go between Use your imagination for this part, but yes, in between the cleavage, I also go up under with the tools as well. I just usually do that on a day where I am blasting my stomach. Start getting my arms ready. give them a little quick blast with the Pro Blaster. That it just feels good. On my arms, I always move very quickly. I alternate between like flexing and keeping it relaxed. It feels different. Carve out the muscles, just kind of go with the lines that you see. as long as you feel that you need shorter longer totally up to you sometimes I use only small claw sometimes I use only large claw it's all personal preference and customizable for you okay. my arms are a little more stubborn sometimes it's more difficult to get some redness going but that will get us started Mini two, I uh, always use like two legs on one claw to hug pretty much anything I can. I used to have a lot of elbow tenderness and wrist pain years ago, and that no longer bothers me, which is glorious. some redness. I like to flex and get in this little line. I like to think of it as carving out my muscle. Arms are kind of a 
exhausting too, it's tiring. All right, as usual, finish the little self massage. Just get everything moving. Let's go to the other side. Always Ashley's oil. I spent a few years being cheap and refusing to buy it. And then the first time I tried it, I kicked myself for not having it be my all the time oil. So just get it. There's usually a good sale around Cyber Monday with all the new products releasing this year. There's no telling what they're going to do, but usually you can plan for something between Black Friday and Cyber Monday on the oils and creams. They are so worth it. And again, fingers. If you ever get tired while you're blasting or your hands get tired, just blast them. Doesn't matter what body part you're working. Take a little one minute break and give them a little blast. Tomorrow, my goal is to upload an ab blast and a back blast. This way, by the end of this week, y'all have the whole body you can refer to and use whenever you need. feels good. I used to, sometimes I get little zingers. There's a little knot or something around my elbow and sometimes I hit it and it makes the nerve wake up a little bit. But the longer I blast and the more I blast, the less often it happens because I'm untangling the fascia that is holding on to that little nerve in there. using two legs on the large claw to just kind of hug around. This little spot always feels really good. Right where the shoulder and chest meet, there's usually some Adhesion's hiding in there for me. All right, quick little hand massage. And then same thing, y'all I follow this same general protocol for my entire body. Blunt side of the nugget, just doing a little quick coloring around. to hit everything, give it a little color. If I find somewhere where I can feel an obvious knot, I'll usually do a little poke and wiggle on it, but for the most part, this is sufficient to help work some of those tangles out. One more little hand massage. Make sure you're dry brushing. I usually do it before my shower or before bed. 
it's easiest to work it into your routine times when you're not wearing gloves anyway. So, y'all enjoy. I'll get some more filmed and uploaded for you. Have a good day.